Pakistan's Prime Minister Imran Khan spoke with India's Prime Minister-elect Narendra Modi today. In a telephonic conversation, Mr. Khan congratulated Mr. Modi on his victory in the recent election. The two leaders discussed South Asia in the phone call, which lasted more than three minutes. Imran Khan expressed his desire to work with India and said that he looked forward to working with Mr. Modi towards the prosperity of both India and Pakistan. In his reply, Modi stressed on creating a violence and terrorism-free environment. Remember, New Delhi has time and again asked Islamabad to curb terror on its soul, or rather on its soil. Modi also reiterated his desire to fight poverty jointly with Mr. Khan. Remember, the Pakistani Prime Minister was among the first world leaders to co commend Mr. Modi on 23rd of May, the day that India's general election result was announced. Once he takes over as the Indian Prime Minister for a second term, Maldives will be the first country that Narendra Modi will visit. While authorities are yet to officially announce the visit, reports say that the Maldives will be one of the stops in the Prime Minister's tour of the region. Mr. Modi is expected to visit the Maldives from the 7th to the 8th of June. Prime Minister Modi was in the Maldives in November of last year to attend its president, Ibrahim Mohammed Soli's inauguration ceremony. It was Mr. Modi's first visit to the country since he assumed office in 2014. There have been a number of high-level visits between the two countries since then, since uh, rather since President Soli's uh, government took charge in November last year. Mr. Modi is likely to have seven foreign visits scheduled over the next seven months. After the Maldives, he will visit Kyrgyzstan, Japan, France, Russia, Thailand and Brazil. Meanwhile, messages continue to pour in for Prime Minister-elect Narendra Modi, congratulating him for the historic victory in the Lok Sabha elections. The Prime Minister-elect received phone calls from the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia, Mohammed bin Salman, or MBS as he is known. The Prime Minister-elect thanked the Saudi Crown Prince for his warm felicitations. Mr. Modi also conveyed his appreciation to MBS for his invaluable friendship with the people of India and his personal interest in furthering the close relationship between the two countries. Modi also received a phone call from the Emir of Qatar, Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, while the Emir noted the deepening relations between India and Qatar, Mr. Modi expressed his appreciation for the strong partnership between the two countries. The British Prime Minister, Theresa May, also made a phone call to the Prime Minister-elect. She complimented the people of India for a successful election. Meanwhile, messages also came in from the German Chancellor, Angela Merkel, and the former Sri Lankan President, Mahinda Rajapaksha. Chancellor Merkel expressed her desire to further the bilateral ties between India and Germany and cooperate on areas of mutual interest. Prime Minister-elect Modi and Chancellor Merkel also spoke about interacting, interacting at the upcoming G20 summit in Japan.